our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English. Hello, sir. Welcome to Pistolera Restaurant. May I take your order? Yes. I would like the chicken cheese enchiladas with a side of guacamole. I'm sorry, sir, but we ran out of chicken. May I suggest our delicious beef burritos or cheese quesadillas? Both include a side of guacamole and jalapenos. Sure, I'll have the burrito. Do you have nachos? Of course, sir. Our nachos come with melted cheese and chili. Sounds good. Would you like anything to drink? Sure. I'll have a Corona. About my driving test, did I do well? You did a fabulous job. Are you telling me that I passed the test? That's what I'm telling you. What did I mess up on? You did mess up a little on one thing. Tell me. You had a little trouble on your parallel parking. That's not easy for me. That's something that you really need to work on. Am I still going to get my license? You're still going to get it. I'm going to the bank. What do you need to do? I need to withdraw some money. How are you going to do that? I'll just use the ATM. What's that? It's the automatic teller machine. It gives you money? I just insert my debit card into the machine. And it gives you money? Well, it gives me money, but it's my own money. Oh. What good is that? I thought it gave you free money. Look, Jimmy's report came today. Let's have a look. What is this? Where are all the grades? He's in the third grade, Sam. You see under each subject that he is being taught in school, he receives a mark from 1 to 3. A 1 means his achievement or work is excellent. Here in science, for example, he got a 2, which means it's satisfactory. What about here in physical education? He got a 3 here, which means it's unsatisfactory. We should work on that with him. So confusing. In my day, we got an A or B if we were doing well, and if we failed an exam, we would get an F. Do you remember what the ratings of movies stand for? Yes. G stands for general audiences. PG means parental guidance suggested. R is restricted to audiences under 18 and X means explicit content. Does anyone pay any attention to those ratings anymore? Remember when we were kids? Theaters wouldn't let kids into PG moves without a parent. I remember that I never saw an X moves even displayed. Now with video rentals it's all a personal matter. Yay. I never see theaters turn people away for their age anymore either. Now we have to make a choice about what we will see and what we won't. How's the bride to be? Tired and stressed. This wedding is giving me a headache. Just relax. With me as your maid of honor, everything will be fine. I'm worried that everything will be chaotic. Hey, I'm the tour guide. I'll take care of the Taiwanese guests. You're going to have to tell them what to do in church, what everything means. I will. Don't worry. Excuse me, is there a hotel nearby? 
The nearest one is about 10 minutes walk from here. How can I get there? Just walk down this road and you'll find it. It's on the right side. Sorry to bother you, but do you have change for a one? I'll have to look. What do you want it for? I need it for the parking meter. I can give you quarters, if that'll help. This house is very nice for me, but I can't afford it in a lump sum. Don't worry. You can pay in an installment, that is to say, you don't have to pay the whole amount of money at once. That's good. Will you tell me the details? Certainly. You need to pay a deposit at first, and you will pay the rest monthly. How long will it take? It depends. I need to talk it over with my wife. Certainly. I'd like to post this letter to Korea. Is it urgent? Would you like the express service? No thank you. I'd like to send it just by normal post. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Can I help you? I've got this important letter to send to Hainan. Can I send it by registered mail? Certainly. How much will I have to pay? Two yuan, please. Here are the letter and the money. Wait a moment. It seems that your letter is overweight. Let me wait it. Is it overweight? I'm afraid it is. So you will have to pay 2 yuan extra. The total charge is 4 yuan. All right. Here is the money. Here are the stamps and your receipt. What shall I do with the receipt? You can keep it until the addressee tells you that the letter has been delivered. It is the proof that you sent the letter if it fails to arrive. Thank you. Not at all. So people can go and root for their old school team? Yep. And relive those good old high school days. You don't sound too excited about going to your reunion. I'm not. I get a stomachache just thinking about it. Are you nervous about meeting up with your ex, Femi? Ouch, that hurts. Did you have to mention her name? This sucks. I hate buying lingerie. Okay, just find something and get out of here. All right, these are fine. Oh, no, don't come over here, don't come over here. You look a little lost. Can I help you? Um, I'm just having a look around. It's my girlfriend's birthday tomorrow. I'm trying to find her something. Well, you can't give her granny panties. Have you thought about getting her some sleepwear? We've got these lovely, silky nighties. Or, how about a nice panty and an bra set? Look, here's a nice satin push-up bra, and you can choose a few different styles of undies to go with it. Sure that's fine. This is so awkward what ones do I pick? What size is she? Well, do you want a thong? Some bikini briefs? Maybe this nice pair of lacy boy shorts? Just pick something and get the hell out of here. Um, I'll go with these two. This is mortifying. I just want to get this over with. She better thank me for this. Here you are, sir. I'm sure she'll enjoy them. Finally. I'm sorry, sir. I'm going to have to take a look inside your bag. Let's play a little game. I'll describe someone and you try to guess who it is. Okay. I'm really bored at the moment. Okay. 
This man is tall and slim. He's got blue eyes and curly brown hair. Does he have a mustache or a beard? Good question. Yes, he has a mustache, but no beard. Sounds like Mike, is it? Yes, it is. You describe someone we both know. Right. She's not very tall and she's quite plump. She's got blonder hair. But I don't know what color her eyes are. Is she attractive? I don't think I know anyone like that. Well, I don't find her attractive. But I'm sure you will disagree. I like slim girls, so I doubt I would find a plump girl attractive. You'll have to give me some more information. She's got tiny feet and wears really unfashionable shoes. In fact, she wears unfashionable clothes too. This doesn't sound like anyone I know. I give up. Tell me who she is. She's your mother. How embarrassing. I don't even recognize a description of my own mother. How important do you think appearance is? I think that unfortunately it's more important than a person's character. Advertising and stuff tells us that we have to be attractive. I think it's wrong, but that's the way the world is now. I'm afraid you're right. I chose my girlfriend because she has a wonderful personality. Well, you certainly didn't choose her because of her looks. Hey, I was joking. Don't hit me. Good afternoon, ma'am. Can I help you find anything? No, thanks. I'm just looking. We have a special on these skirts this week. Would you like to try one on? No, thank you. I don't need any skirts. How about a blouse? This one here is the latest fashion. No, thank you. Why not try on this lovely pair of shorts? I'm sure they'd look fabulous on you. No doubt. Look, I'm just browsing. If I need your help, I'll let you know. Take a look at this dress. Don't you think it's perfect for you, ma'am? Uh, where are you going, ma'am? Ma'am? Who gave my dog this cooked chicken bone? I did. Why? Didn't you know dogs shouldn't eat cooked chicken bones because they're bad for their stomachs? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. It won't happen again. I'd like to speak with the apartment manager, please. This is he. What can I do for you? I'm interested in the apartment on Main Street. It's still available. Do you want to see it? Yes, I would very much like to see it. Does today at 6 p.m. sound okay to you? I have no problem with 6 p.m. Okay, I'll see you at 6 o'clock. Do you need any directions? No, thanks. I already drove by to see what the neighborhood looks like. I'll have an application form with me. You can fill it out if you're interested. Should I bring anything with me? No, I only need to check your driver's license. How long have you been washing clothes here? I started washing here about three years ago. How come? I can wash my clothes for less money here. This is my first time washing clothes here. What reason are you washing here today? I can't wash at home because my machine is broken. Go and get it repaired. That'll cost too much. Are you going to continue washing your clothes here for a while? I have no choice. Washing clothes at a laundromat costs a lot less money.
Hello. I need to disconnect my phone, please. All right. Where do you live, sir? At 345 Lincoln Avenue, Oklahoma City. Very well. Why do you want to disconnect your phone, sir? I'm moving to a new home. Okay, may I have your name, please? John Smith. Thank you. Mr. Smith, what's your telephone number? 555-7658. Thank you. Where should I send your final phone bill? 623 West Side Drive, New York, New York. Thank you, Mr. Smith. Your phone will be disconnected after this phone call. Have a nice day. Thank you. You too. Our mission is to help you learn the English language. We have created easy to follow free educational materials for those seeking knowledge of English.